Uh, what's going on, Spencer? Hey, Cody. How are you? Mm, I'm doing good. What do you have there? Well, today I have the Intenso. Oh, the one new one by Juice Bear, and AJ Fernandez, the collaboration, huh? Yes, sir. And so far I'm finding it to be quite the uh, interestingly flavored cigar. On the dry draw, I actually got like a slight hint of like dried like oats, which I thought was kind of interesting. How about what do you, you like about it so far? Mm. So far, the way that it's smoking and the uh, good spiciness to the flavor is really good in my opinion. Also, it's smooth. It is while very maintaining smooth. that spiciness. It is very smooth. It uh. What, what was it? Uh, it only cost seven something? Seven to seven fifty, depending on the size. Eight, I think, for the torpedo, which is reasonable. All right. So, uh, go ahead that badass and band. Check out this band. It's like bronze color. It's really cool. It almost seems like a type of color that I'm going to be using on a project that I have coming up that these fine people might be able to see. This is true. This is true. So, I won't uh, divulge any more information about that into a later video, but hopefully, y'all might like it. So, what can you uh, tell us about this cigar? Well, it's Other chuck full of uh, fillers from the black soils of Nicaragua. Definitely, that's what's in the filler. It's either a little bit of Criollo for the spice or some Amatepe. Could likely not both, because that would be a pepper stick, and most people do not like that. Hmm. It has a beautiful, as you can look and see the veins on the back, Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, which AJ starting to utilize more, which is nice. That's a lot of people's favorite Maduro wrapper. I've uh, noticed that a lot lately with this stuff. Uh, Broadleaf is very, it's on the last call, Maduro, and now it's on this. And there's some some on the cigars he makes for CI. He's using Pennsylvania leaves too. He's, broadleaf is very, there's nothing like it. It's sweet, it's hearty, it bur it's thick, it burns well. Yeah, yeah it's full the of flavor. burning on the cigar is pretty even. Very. I mean, you don't get that where it burns half an inch that way and you've got to relight and yeah. hollow it out the mouth. I mean, like I tell them all the time, I'm not too picky when it comes to if my cigar is burning uh, evenly or not. Uh, what do you feel about that in your own opinion? I'm not too picky about it, the flavor's correct. However, a good cigar usually evens out. That's what mine usually do anyways. So yeah. Uh, Another really cool thing about this cigar is it's box pressed. If you set it down, it's not going to roll. And honestly, you look at the construction on this, I'd put it up against the construction on Padron any day. Any day? Easily. All right. I would almost put it up there with the 4D and NASA construction, but I don't know that anything has that construction. But I would really put it up there. This is... This and the New World are two really solid cigars. Very nice. So, other than that, what kind of flavors are you getting off this cigar? Out of a chocolatey kind of spice with a little bit of oat. Yeah, I, that oat flavor is still predominant in the cigar, but not as much as it was off the dry draw. It's likely due to the blending and the way they age the tobacco. The AJ's got a massive amount of tobacco, all kinds of tobacco. He's what well, he has some of the better tobacco in Nicaragua right now. That's what I've been told by a lot of people in the industry. Alright. Well uh, overall what would you rate the cigar? I'd say probably a nine out of ten. I would say so too. It's really good. It's it's actually it's lighter than it appears, the actual smoke itself. Yeah. It's it not, seems like I wouldn't say it's even as heavy as a new world. It seems like it'd be a heavy smoke, but it really isn't. The beauty. It has really good flavors, and yes. just by appearance, you think, oh, that's going to be a nice heavy cigar, but it's an even uh, the genius of AJ flavor. is he's able to put Lajero and stronger tobacco in there and give you flavor without knocking you on your ass. That's what AJ does well. That he does. AJ knows how to take Lajero's top priming the lead which is chuck full of nicotine and it's very strong and he knows how to blend it into a stick and he can put it in there and sometimes 
you'll be like, you'll get the back end on it, you'll taste that Lajero, you'll be like, but he tastefully blends it. It's like, uh, I don't normally make this comparison, but you know how when you smoke a Manuel Casada cigar, you always have spice, but it's very smooth. Yes, I have noticed that. I think AJ will eventually get to that point. I think he's getting closer. Indeed. The, likely some Amatepe for that little spice like they do in the New World and the Kudzus. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, is that all you have about information-wise? Well, they do come in a 20-count box, too. It's a black and this bronze color on the band on the box, so and it's it's reasonably priced, about seven seven fifty. Uh, good uh, cigar for a good price. Uh, if think that they'd be easy to get on online retailers right now, would you uh, suggest checking out the local shops for a better result? I would suggest checking out the local shops to support the small business and the brick and mortar cigar shops like us. But if your shop does not have it, you can easily go on jrcigar.com or A CI like or, Thompson's or Famous Smoke Shop? Yeah. All right, well, All those retailers should have it. With that being said, uh, please like and subscribe down below. Please leave a comment uh, suggesting future cigars and future tips and tricks. And why not throw in some cigar gadgets with that? Until then, stay smoky, my friends.